This morning, we're continuing the conversation about screening for breast cancer. It can be the difference between life and death. Yesterday, we shared with you a surprise reunion between a local breast cancer survivor, Wykena Harris, who's sitting there, and the woman she believes saved her life. Not only did you save my life, I'm sure you saved so many other women's lives because I talk about you all the oh, time. Well, thank all you. Thank the you. Time. It means a lot to me. So Harris, as you can see, was in tears meeting Georgia Stalvey, a mammogram liaison with Baptist Medical Center, who called Harris three years ago when her mammogram results came back suspicious. Harris thought the results were a mistake, maybe a false positive, and was delaying getting rescreened. But Stalvey convinced her over the phone to get checked right away. And that happened, and doctors ended up finding three tumors in Harris's breast. She believes had it not been for Stalvey and that gentle push that she was giving her, she called her three times, the cancer would have spread. Oncologist Lara Zuberi is with Baptist MD Anderson Cancer Center, is joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good morning to you as well. So, Doctor, when I interviewed Georgia Stalvey, who, who is the one who schedules these rescreenings for women with abnormal results, she said there, there are women who either hesitate to rescreen or some don't even set up a screening, a second screening. Why do you think that is in your experience? So uh, that's exactly right. And um, I cannot stress that enough. I mean, mammograms save lives. Uh, being aware and getting to your doctor, regardless of the mammogram, saves lives. Um, so very important to keep in mind that breast cancer is extremely common. So it's a 13% lifetime risk, which is, a, which is a high probability. It's not a low number. And so all of us uh, have close family and friends um, who have had this diagnosis and um, have had to have treatment for it. Um, early detection is key. I think a lot of people are afraid of what they they will find. Um, and that is the hesitation. Some of the hesitation is, uh, you know, it's an inconvenience. You know, it's probably, you know, I don't have cancer. Um, so some of it is it's both extreme. So I see, I see both of these. We also saw during the COVID time, uh, this long gap where people just were, you know, for understandable reasons, not going for screenings. And so in those two year uh, time frames, we did see uh, bigger cancers, uh, more advanced cancers because um, they had missed mammograms. And if we find it early, it's highly curable. So breast cancer is a highly curable disease in the majority of patients. The key is finding it early. Well, it's interesting you say that, too, because because with Waikina, she had no family history. She had just turned 40. This was her very first mammogram when this happened to her. So she was this healthy, you know, woman and just thought that the results just must be wrong. And the reality is, is that you do have to follow up as much as the anxiety that it gives you. But, you know, the early detection, as you mentioned, is critical. So how can women be proactive about their breast health, doctor? So the one thing is that recommendations have changed over the years and they've also been a little bit conflicting and some of it is insurance driven, some of it is driven by different, you know, cancer societies, but really it's important, it's crucial to remember that screening starts at 40 or earlier if somebody has risk factors, like if somebody has a history of, you know, their mother getting breast cancer at age 30, for example, that would be somebody who has to be uh, really kind of ahead of the game and make sure that screening starts earlier. Um, and then starting at 40 and then continuing every year. There is a common misconception that uh, screening is, is okay to do every other year. Really, we would miss so many breast cancers if that was, if we, if we missed, um, you know, doing it every year. And if you're called back for repeat screening, um, just like in the example that we have before us, um, make sure that that gets scheduled and done. Um, we, as for breast cancer, we like at MD Anderson Cancer Center, we have a team where, of course, we rely on our radiologists, our pathologists, and then from the physician standpoint, also we have, um, uh, you know, once we have this diagnosis, we still have a team of medical oncology, which is, you know, myself, but I, I rely a lot on my surgical colleagues as well as my radiation oncology colleagues. And we're all here to 
help make this diagnosis easy, make the treatment and this difficult journey as easy and simple as possible. Not everybody who gets a breast cancer diagnosis is going to need a complicated treatment. The earlier it's diagnosed, the simpler the treatment is going to be. You may get by without chemotherapy, you may get by without radiation. It really depends on uh, so many different factors. And that's why we have a tumor board where all the physicians uh, and the whole team meets and reviews every new diagnosis so that everybody has a, a consensus, there's a consensus on the treatment for each individual patient going forward. Dr. Zuberi, thank you for your time this morning. And a reminder that as women, we also need to make sure that we're always doing the monthly uh, self breast exams and scheduling that yearly mammogram. Thank you, doctor.